So at the start of lockdown, I bought these Nike Pro running shorts and like, I just was like, come on, man. So I bought all of these products. I got four products. This could go awfully wrong, but I'm just gonna dive in, so. Do you know what a tablespoon is? Yes, obviously. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another vlog. So I just wanted to kickstart this vlog by saying a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed to me. I've just hit 300 subscribers. I hit it last night, I think. I'm just so happy, like, it's little baby steps, but you know, we're getting there. So thanks so much to everyone that has subscribed. But yeah, anyway, on with the vlog. So I thought I'd do a little just like casual chill vlog. Um, I wanted to show you some things that I bought during lockdown. Why I've been buying things during lockdown, I, I will never know, but I can't help myself. I also look about 12 years old today, I don't know why. I think because I barely put on any makeup and like, I don't know, I just look really young. But yeah, I just thought I would put on a little bit of makeup, make myself look a bit more presentable and just show you some things I've been buying. I'm also gonna do some baking today, which I'm very excited about. So I think the time is now about half three and I had a good productive morning. I went for a run. I went for a 2K run because I'm trying to build up my stamina again. 2K doesn't sound a lot, I know, but I can't run, basically. 2K is more than enough for me right now. Like I will bump it up once I get used to a 2K, but for now, was taking with 2k then i washed my hair had some lunch and now i am here so i bought some things during lockdown some clothes and some products and i just wanted to show you them and i also wanted to talk you through some skincare products that i've got because i would really really love some opinions and some advice on it all of these things i've got are like so creased because i'm just awful at folding things and it's Folding's just not my specialty. But obviously because I've been doing lots of running and like just exercise in general, I needed so much more gym wear stuff. And normally, obviously before lockdown, I was going to the gym so I could just wear gym leggings and I wasn't getting too hot there. Whereas now the weather is so nice and I'm running outside, I needed some like shorts. So that's what I bought. So at the start of lockdown, I bought these Nike Pro running shorts. Um, I just got them in a size small i think but they're high-waisted yeah they're just high-waisted they've got the tick here and then the elasticated waistband with the nike pro written on it really comfortable really easy to wear so yeah that's one thing i bought during lockdown and sticking with the gym wear i also bought gymshark shorts as well and these are actually too small for me so i'm thinking of selling them maybe putting them on depop i'm not sure but they are i mean i can wear them they're an x small and the models are wearing an x small but i kind of forgot that i am bigger than the model which isn't great they are wearable but i would just would prefer a bigger size and also they're not actually high-waisted they're kind of like just below high-waisted and i like high-waisted apart from that they're so nice they're so flattering as well um but yes yeah, so i do really like these and they are comfy to be fair so i don't know if i'll keep them i might just buy them in another size and then just still keep these as well i'm not sure and then moving on to actual clothes i just really wanted some more clothes like stuff to wear now and stuff to wear after lockdown just because I don't know what i don't know what the logic is buying stuff for after lockdown but i've done it anyway so one of the things i got was this top from pretty little thing and it actually does do up here it's a bardo bardo top basically a strapless top with like little sleeves on it too it's actually so nice it's all ruched here i actually really really like it and it's really flattering so yeah and these buttons obviously do do up but i undid them to get them on because i couldn't get it over my chest and then also, I'm not too sure how I feel about them. I think I really like these trousers, but basically I just don't have any trousers. I've literally got my jeans and that's pretty much it. And I just wanted some like trousers to wear like to the pub, like, like for a night out, I'm not too sure. So these trousers are also from Pretty Little Thing and they're basically, I don't know if you can see, but they're croc print and they're just like a blush pink, I'd probably say. I, they looked more nude on the website, but I don't mind. They're, you know, a little pink. They're quite nice. Um, they're high-waisted, they've got, They've got this belt that comes with it, but I'm not too keen on the belt, so I think I probably wear my own belt with them. They're like slim fit trousers, and they're actually really, really nice. They're quite flattering on as well. So yeah, I just thought these with like a nice little white crop top or a black crop top would look really nice with some like heeled sandals. Um, so yeah, I really like this. I also got this in a size 8. So yeah. I really like them. I also did get a white baggy t-shirt, which I think I wore in my last video. Um, if not, it's on my TikTok. So if you want to see it, go and look at my TikTok. But it's in the wash and I'm not going to get it out of the wash because that's disgusting. So that is it for clothes. Now moving on to skincare. So right now, the ordinary skincare is so, so popular and everyone's raving about it. And I've watched so many YouTube videos on like the skincare and like how it's helping people and stuff. Since purchasing it, I've seen it all over TikTok. It's got so much more popular since I bought it. Um, so I didn't buy it like 
because everyone else has it i literally bought it because i wanted to try it and everyone told me it was so good i was just kind of like at a wit's end of my skin like it's just been all over the place i've had so many hormonal outbreaks and like i just was like come on man this needs to stop now so i bought all of these products i got four products and i'll just talk you through them all so i actually got inspired to buy these from grace beverly also known as grace fit i was watching her like instagram stories and she was talking about her skincare routine and she had the ordinary products in her skincare but she's literally swarmed by these products so i just thought i'd give them a go my best friend is really into skincare as well so i always go to her for like, advice on it and stuff and i just thought okay let's just give it a go so one of the things I got was the Squalane Cleanser, Squalane Cleanser, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A lot of them I don't know how to pronounce either, but so it basically just looks like this and it's a cleanser and comes out like a cream and then as you blend it into your face it becomes like oil and like waxy almost so it kind of like melts into your skin and like breaks down your makeup and stuff and I've used it once and it's been all right like it seems to be okay i swear by my cleansers that i have i have the lizelle cleanse and polish and the mara badescu cleanser but i mentioned all of them in my skincare video that i did um like a month or so ago but yeah so i've given this a go once and i thought it was all right i didn't really see any kind of improvements because i haven't obviously used it long enough yet but once i run out of my mara badescu one i'll probably give this one a proper go another thing i got was the high hyaluronic acid 2% plus B5 I think that's how you pronounce it it's like a serum so it just looks like this it's got like a little pipette so it's if I can open it it basically just comes out like this and you just squeeze it that's that one and then I also got the niacinamide 10% plus zinc one um, this is what everyone's talking about as well. I got this one in a bigger size as well just because it was cheaper for shipping. Again, just looks like this with a little pipette and then it literally does the exact same thing, just squeeze it out. And then the last thing I got was the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution, which is again, a product that everyone is raving about. So this is what it looks like. It literally looks like blood. Again, another pipette. And this honestly, when you put it on your face, it really does look like blood. And you just like rub it in and then leave it on for 10 minutes. So I have had these products for a week now. I've used the peeling solution once. Today is Wednesday and I used it last Wednesday. And you only meant to use it once a week. So I've got to use it again today. And then I've also been using the niacinamide serum every single day. I think I've been using it day and night not on the days i'm wearing makeup though like for instance today i didn't put it on this morning because um it doesn't apparently like mix well with like you know foundation creams and that kind of stuff so i haven't put it on this morning but i've been using it every single day and night and then i also was using the hyaluric acid however this is where i need advice and some help so i started using these products a week ago and i feel like they really did impact my skin like straight away so they're really intense serums and they've got like quite strong doses of like what you need for your skin and stuff what i think happened was my skin has been through a really weird time in the last week it broke out horrendously when i first started using it literally like after a day of using them it broke out so bad and i was like oh no like here we go again like another product i'm too sensitive to but then I was Googling it and stuff, and I think what it's called is skin purging, which is basically where you have a rapid turnover of cells when you use a new product, and it basically like breaks you out because it's bringing out all the impurities. Is that the right thing? Is that the right word? Um, coming out in a breakout. I think that's what skin purging is. I'm really not an expert. I have absolutely no idea. I could be so far off right now. But that's what seems to have happened. It seems to have like reacted in the sense that it's bringing everything out. And then it kind of calmed down and then like really started to dry out my skin. It helps a lot for like acne scarring as well, which I have a lot of because I had really bad skin when I was younger. I took some photos last week and I took some photos today and I compared them and you can really, really see a difference in the redness of my skin. Even after a week of just using the product, my scarring has gone down a lot like not a drastic amount but like you can see it's working so like i'm excited to see what it looks like in like another week or like a month i'm not going to share the before and after photos i've got of my skin just because i want to do it like right at the end um and see then if there is like an improvement and stuff however i did decide to stop using the hyaluronic the hyaluric acid because i was really worried that this was starting to break me out like actual breakout and i feel like because i was using these products from like zero to a hundred maybe i just kind of shocked my skin a little bit so i've taken this out of the routine and i'm going to reintroduce it once my skin starts to get more used to the products because like i said they are like really intense products to use i think i'm going to do like a one month update kind of thing and just see how i go i don't want to say like i recommend them yet because i don't know if they work or not 
especially with people who've got sensitive skin. I'm pretty sure it says on the website, don't use if you've got sensitive skin, but here we are anyway. So yeah, that is my little lockdown haul, I guess. Now I'm gonna go downstairs and do some baking because we finally found some self-raising flour. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem, but we couldn't find self-raising flour anywhere like anywhere it was sold out of every single shop and now we finally managed to grab some so i'm gonna go and do some baking because i don't normally bake i'm more of a cook but i'm gonna give baking a go i've been filming this for 19 minutes so i'm gonna have to cut this down a lot but i really wanted to talk you through these products and if you have any advice on the ordinary products or any tips of how to like use them please let me know because i'm always for you know opinions and advice because i just i need it okay so i've moved down to the kitchen now and i'm going to do some baking so little story time for you we have a garden house at the bottom of our garden and it's got all of our stuff in it from like our old house and i found all of like my mum's old cookbooks she used to bake a lot and cook a lot and i've literally found her like signature recipes that she did and stuff so i've got a book full here of just like loose pieces of paper that she's written down like old recipes and stuff and i remember having them when i was younger and then she's also got this recipe collector journal she's basically written down some recipes that she did like the measurements the methods so this is perfect i'm very happy that i found them and it's really inspired me to want to make some stuff so that's what i'm gonna do so we had like a family recipe i don't know if it's a family recipe but basically my mum used to make these biscuits called grandad biscuits and I actually don't know why they're called granddad biscuits. I think because we used to make them for my granddad um, or maybe he used to make them and he called them granddad biscuits. I'm not too sure. They're basically cheese biscuits, um, but we call them granddad biscuits and they taste so nice. It takes me right back to my childhood. So I've got the recipe for it. I've got the ingredients, the measurements and the method. So this is so handy. I'm very happy that she's done this because now it means I can make exactly what she used to make, which I'm very happy about. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And now I've got myself raising flour, I can actually make them. So the ingredients I need are self-raising flour, dry mustard, salt and pepper, butter, chili cheese, eggs and milk. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, I feel like I need to tidy this area and give it clean. Okay, I'm just gonna lower you down. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got my self-raising flour, mustard, eggs, red Leicester cheese and butter. I think that's everything. Oh, and salt and pepper. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera off while I just get these ingredients ready into a bowl and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so just turn the camera back on again and I've got all my ingredients in, well, I've got the start of the ingredients in this bowl and now I basically need to like massage it in with my fingers to create like a breadcrumb look. That's what it says. It says rub in the butter to form a breadcrumb look. So that's what I'm gonna do, um, but I'm not gonna be able to touch the camera and stuff, so I thought I'd turn it on now and then get my hands all messy in that. This could go awfully wrong, but I'm just gonna dive in. So I just washed my hands as well, by the way. Ew. Rub in butter. I don't know what rub in butter means. I'm just gonna kind of, I don't know, break it up. This is disgusting. Butter won't break. I really hate butter too, so the fact I'm touching this right now is making me feel really on edge, but you know, I'm trying to get through it. Ooh, I feel like I'm running my hands through sand. Form a dough of your hands, adding the milk if needed. So does that mean, oh wait, milk, only two tablespoons of milk. Do you know what a tablespoon is? Yes, obviously. Okay, I've grated all my cheese. Now it's time to add this to the mixture. I'm gonna just need to add two eggs and then just make a dough formation with my hands again. I've got a backache doing this. That's a bit late now, but did you actually clean that? Clean that? Clean I cleaned that it, surface. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I feel like I should watch a tutorial on how to knead. Oh my God, no one ever come for me for my kneading of dough. I don't know what I'm doing. Now the, the trick is getting the right thickness. thickness. This is so awkward. Okay, so now I rolled it out, I'm gonna cut out the like biscuits and I'm gonna use these three cutters. Again, don't really know why, but we used to use pigs. <laughs> we used to always have these granddad biscuits in pigs and we had them in like half a moon and just the bog standard circle. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, I'm following the tradition. I don't really know what the meaning behind it is, but we'll do it anyway. Oh 
my gosh, so that literally took half an hour trying to literally cut all these out, but I'm finally done. I've got three trays full. It was like Tetris trying to get all these on. I should have really done a fourth one, but I'm just hoping these aren't all gonna like, I don't know, blending together. That'd be awful, wouldn't it? But they're gonna go in the oven now for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 10 and see what they look like and then put them in for another five if I have to. I'm just so excited. I just really want these to turn out well. Oh my gosh, okay, so ignore please all this mess here and stuff, but this is the second batch. They're just like, Calling. I've decanted the rest into here and then I've got one more in the oven down here and I'm not gonna lie I mean this might not make any sense to anyone else but like this is like a family recipe and it brings back so many memories like the smell and the taste of them so I'm just so happy about it I'm really proud of myself actually for doing it and that is the final result of my granddad biscuits I'm literally I'm just so happy with them they taste amazing everyone has said that they love them the worst batch at the bottom so you know we just have to think about that it's not that they're bad they just were a little bit like overcooked because I had to kind of like try and error but apart from this I'm so happy with them so that basically is the end of this vlog I think it was quite short but I just wanted to basically talk to you about the ordinary products and show you my granddad biscuits which I am so pleased about well thank you very much for watching anyway remember to give this video a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you again on sunday for another video bye